Welcome everybody to Digital Beats, where we discuss the latest in technology, news, and innovative trends in digital transformation. Today's discussion will be super interesting. We'll be talking about key technologies in next generation enterprise level databases. Let me introduce you to our guests. Uh, Dr. Li Fei Fei is vice president at the Alibaba Group. He is the president of the database products business unit of Alibaba Cloud Intelligence. He is a multi award winning scientist and he leads R&D on cloud native database systems and products at Alibaba. Also joining us is Charlie Dai. He is the principal analyst serving enterprise architecture professionals at Forrester. He is a leading expert in cloud, big data, AI, IoT, blockchain, and many more. Uh, and Charlie is also an avid tech blogger with millions of readers worldwide. I'd like to turn our conversation to multi-model processing. I think you know, multi-model processing has been really getting a lot of attention in the data best world of late. Charlie, uh, can you talk about what multi-model processing actually is and why it is such a hot topic? Yeah, sure. Thanks, Milo. And uh, in Forrester's evaluation framework for the database as a service, the multi-model support is one key functional capability. It refers to the support for a range of data models within a single database or a single copy at the same time for a single application. So uh, these models include like relational model, the document model, graph model, key value model, and time series models, for example, you know, like the sort of a KV model is mainly about the key value pair and the document model is mainly about the JSON or XML or, or, or binary JSON, JSON. So, uh, so that is our definition. Okay. And why do, you, why do you think it's such a hot topic? What's making it such a hot topic? Yeah, so, so once again, let's start with the customer needs you know, to support all kinds of data formats. You know, we have the transactional data in the application systems everywhere. Uh, these are structured and they are using the relational model. And then we have the log data, right? Uh, those are many unstructured using XML and they are using the document model. And for location data, we have the unstructured data there using JSON, which are using the document model again. And then we have the multimedia data like images. And normally we use the unstructured data uh, with the document model. And then we have the IoT data you know, things from the devices or the equipment. And it's all about structured or unstructured data, but they have very high frequency and performance requirements. And normally they have massive dimensions to analyze. And sometimes we also use the time series model for this kind of data. And then we have the data relationship, like the social relationship on the social platforms or the transaction relationship for your finance or the healthcare information relationship for your medical structure and uh, other all kinds of uh, knowledge relationship uh, using the knowledge graph. So we are using the graph model for this kind of data. And, and then, then let's take a deeper look at the technology architecture to handle all these different data. You know, any decent size enterprise will have a variety of uh, different data storage technologies for different kinds of data. And normally we we'll call it the polyglot persistence. And then this leads to the data silos there. And then the original database for structured data and document database for document or graph database for the, for the knowledge graph. And as a result, the application will have to integrate multiple data sources with different data models with various interfaces using like batch processing that Fabian mentioned before or the integration workflows or some of the data streaming technologies. And this is not only complex, it's also very hard to scale out to support your dynamic workloads. And there will be the performance issue for the cross data store analytics. But in contrast, the multi-model processing or the multi-model databases will provide a very elegant solution to this kind of uh, challenges of managing heterogeneous data from all kinds of channels and help you to accelerate 
your insight generation to help you streamline your data operations and to improve the scalability across all kinds of backend systems there. So this right. is our view about the challenges. All right, Fei Fei, uh, what advantages does the multi-model database have in, in processing various types of relational data? I think Charlie made an excellent point. It's all about business needs. Uh, uh, the reason that we need to build multi-model database systems uh, is driven by business needs. And uh, if you look at today's business applications, uh, especially from uh, all the uh, intelligent uh, mobile devices we have, from all the IoT sensors we have, <clears throat> increasingly we have devices located anywhere, everywhere, generating different kinds of data all the time. Time series data, location data, uh, text data, and all that. And you need to have, sometimes application needs to store all those data into one place, one application, and being able to process and analyze all of this, those data without worrying about having vertical system, one for each type of data. So that's essentially the driving force behind multi-model uh, database system. Right. So, uh, so that's why in Alibaba, we have built multi-model database system Lingdorm. Of course, it also adopts a cloud-native design, for example, by decoupling storage and computation and so on and so forth, so that you can process your uh, time series data, your uh, log data, uh, your structure data, your key value pairs, all in one place with a low cost storage layer and highly efficient processing engine. So that's the value we can deliver to our customers so that uh, you can do much better processing for your AIoT applications. Uh, you can deal with multi-sources, uh, heterogeneous data and process and analyze them in one place. Right. Charlie, a, a question for you. Uh, what do you think will drive the evolution of multi-model processing? Yeah, right. I think uh, I already mentioned that a little bit uh, at the beginning. You know, the overall, it's all about the customer needs. The customer needs to make sure they have the performance, needs to make sure they can kill the complexity. They need to make sure they have better performance with less cost. They need to be able to handle all kinds of dynamic workloads, especially again, during the COVID-19, when everything are moving online, moving towards the public cloud space. And that means your workloads will becoming more and more dynamic. And how can you support that? And this kind of technology will help you to do that. Thank you, uh, Fei Fei and, and Charlie. Thank you very much for your time today. It's it's been a, it's been a really great discussion. I just want to say one thing to the audience. Uh, hey guys, don't forget to catch the next episode of Digital Beats, where we'll discuss more trends in the cloud.